Well, friends, we have a SWAT team in our church again, coming, authorities. So I'm going to go out and see what they want. Yes. Oh, hello, Walter. Hi, Arthur. I wonder if I could just give you a couple of things on the court order. This is for you. Um, it basically outlines the fact we have the, uh, the, the right to enter today. Um, what I would really... Um, Please, you don't have to get into a personal space. Thank you. Well, you're in my yeah, personal exactly. space, so... Can I, can I explain to you, Arthur? I'm not can really I, interested I, in what I you explain, have to say. Can I explain to you? I'm uh, reading. Okay, okay. The... What we'd want to do is make sure that we're not going to disrupt anything with the service. The idea uh, is this is uh, you have a wrong. What? This is not street church. Um, this is not street church. You have a wrong. The, uh, both, 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 um, both things are actually on there. Both, both. Church, both churches are detailed on there. So if we could come and do the cave of Adulam is not uh, is not a registered organization, and this is not street church. So you have a wrong. You gotta okay. do your homework first before you come, okay? You have a wrong, you have a wrong organization. Okay, that is for you, Arta. Uh, yeah. I will send it to you by email too, if you'd like. I just wanted to be able to come today and then at least explain the order, serve the order, and then we can stand at the back. No, you can contact. Can no, 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 no. You can contact my lawyer, okay? We'll my lawyer takes care of this. I'm not interested to listen to any word you have to say. I do not cooperate with Gestapo. I do not talk to the Nazis. You came in your uniforms like thugs. That's what you are. Brown shirts of Adolf Hitler. You are Nazi, Gestapo, communist, fascist. I do not cooperate with Nazis. Talk to my lawyer. You're not allowed here. You're not welcomed here. And I'm not going to cooperate with Gestapo like you, okay? So is that fair enough for you? Okay, Talk to my wanted, lawyer. I just wanted to explain a little bit about the order. I'm not interested. I just to at least have a conversation. I'm not interested in talking. Talk you see, the, you see, the this the is what the Gestapo is doing. You coming to you coming to the place of worship to intimidate and to harass. So you can make an appointment, lady. Listen to me. You can make an appointment another day. Okay, you Gestapo. You don't need to another day. Don't need to not this day. Not this day! Okay. Not during the church! Okay. You understand? Okay. Make an appointment! Okay, fine. Okay, so go! See you later on. Have a good day. You are sick. That's what you are. And rightfully so, you change your uniforms to black because you're exactly acting like the Gestapo of old. Sickening what this country came to. Coming to the place of worship with their uniform, with their guns, again, again, during the time of worship. They could do it another time. They could do it another day. No, they are following the orders of the Führer, Hitler, communists. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wicked, evil people. Wicked, evil people. Unbelievable. It is what it is. If Canadians will not rise up and stand up, if they will not come to their senses, while there is still a time, while there is a time to wake up and push this evil, there will be absolutely no, no rights whatsoever. If they can get away with this, they're going to come anywhere else. And you know, that's that's what people do not understand. They, they, they think this is some kind of a game. Do you think that they're here for your health? Seriously? They could come any day of the week. They could call me. They could say, hey, uh, we want to inspect your facility. We want to come. No, no. They want to do it during the church service. Because they have a purpose, they have an agenda. If you're not seeing it, then you're playing either stupid, blind, and deaf. I have been warning you for 16 years about what's coming, and it's here. And it's up to you. Either you're going to keep pushing as hard as you can, or you're going to be swollen about the, by those people. The history, I mean, the history is teaching us 
that those types of people will never stop. They're going to keep coming, keep coming, keep taking your rights one after another, you know, destroying you by thousands of cuts, one cut at a time, one little law at a time, and then eventually you're going to wake up and you will be in a concentration camp, like my brother says, turned into a soap. You know, when we were uh, warning Canadians and Americans, Westerners, about what's coming, we could smell it for uh, many years. Uh, people are laughing at us. Oh, you're, you're, you know, you're just making this stuff up. You're blowing this out of proportion. You conspiracy theorist. H however, it's here. It's here. And you cannot come and worship God without the interference of, of, of the Gestapo. You, you cannot pray with people. You cannot associate. You cannot have a Lord's Supper together. Why? Because the government says so. You would think that this will happen in China, in, in Russia, but it's happening here in a Western democracy. What are you going to do about it? Will you stand up? Will you fight? Will you push? Or will you just bow to the medical tyranny, because that's what it is, and give up everything? Because they're coming for everything. Wake up or else. So what are you thinking? Like, I mean, they came like, like Gestapo again in the black uniforms. Those people are possessed. I can't see how dare you the second time. Come here, they were going away. And uh, we held all this video. All the entire world is supporting us. Christians supporting us. People, regular people who are not Christians supporting us. It's unbelievable. It is. But we fight and we win. They left now, second time. We win. Yeah, it's, it's all because of that. You know, I, I, I don't know what they're pushing for. I think they're pushing for a revolution. I truly believe that they're pushing so hard because they want a reaction. They want a martial law. They want a revolution. They want to come heavy on the people. And they're not stopping. That's that's a scary part. They're not stopping. They're, they're not slowing down. They're breaking every right under our Constitution, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. They are breaking it in front of our eyes, and it looks like they can get away with the murder. They can get away with anything. And the politicians, politicians should be charged with treason. All of them, they should be charged with treason. What they're doing is illegal unconstitutional against the people they're not serving people anymore they are working against the people and it's up to the people to show them if they will bow and allow them to continue to do that or they will rise up stand up and remove those evil wicked wannabe dictators from their places of uh, authority without pension and they should be charged for treason criminal charges they should lose their salary and they should lose their pensions and everyone that partook in this they should lose their pension and their salaries as well, and they should be charged for conspiracy. Sickening. <laughs>